The inclusion of set bonuses in Warframe through the Incarnate Genesis system is really neat. Equipped with Dread on 8, our Despair activates Stalker's Vendetta, significantly enhancing our firepower and making the Despair knives more lethal than ever. We were previously introduced to this new game mechanic where consuming extra ammo increases the damage of our multi shot with the Torrid. However, with the Despair, instead of plus 60% damage bonus for each multi shot, they benefit for a plus 100% damage bonus for each multi shot, accompanied by an additional plus 30% multi shot. While the initial knife before the multi shot doesn't benefit from this damage bonus, every subsequent instance of multi shot benefits from it. This pair, this set of rain knives with micronic edges, is, as you might have understood, used by the stalker. In incarnate form, the knives now explode in a small radius after a 0.5 second embed delay, dealing hit damage. They also both increase base damage, critical chance, critical multiplier, and status chance with a slightly lower fire rate. As you've witnessed, these knives may not be overpowered, but they can kill level cap demolis within seconds, even without a buffing ability. During this run, I utilized the Elmim Sotium ability Tarot Strike on Revenant to strip armor. I chose Revenant for this run to maintain an overshield state and make use of the bonus provided by Cascadia Overcharge, granting plus 300% critical chance to my despair. So if you've been wondering why I've been consistently landing retreats, it's not due to my Revenant this time, instead, it's simply because I wanted to showcase the Arcane Cascadia Overcharge. And for a change, I opted to not rely on the Arcane Secondary Deadhead. Remember to include at least one Ogre mod or Brief Respite in your loadout to enter the Overshield state and activate Cascadia Overcharge after using Tarot Strike. Overall, this Stalker loadout was incredibly enjoyable and laid back to play. I didn't require any extensive setup, nor I didn't need to prime the Demolist. The goal of this build was to maximize my multi-shot, so I utilized a Riven with multi-shot, hit, damage, and negative puncture. Since we were facing clone flesh enemies who are vulnerable to hit damage and viral damage, I opted to mod for viral despite our weapon already being primarily hit based. As we don't primer, proking even just one viral status would significantly enhance our damage output. Since each multi shot increases damage by plus 100%, modding galvanized diffusion on lethal torrent was crucial, given that our multi shot directly consumes ammo from the capacity using prime pistol ammo mutation is highly recommended. To enhance the critical damage of the weapon, I modded Prime Target Cracker on Creeping Bullseye. Furthermore, as I played the mission Kappa on Senna, I modded Prime Expert Grenier. 